Happy 4th of July, all. It is now the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Day. Happy Independence Day. We're about to pull up Tube Town and we're going to meet a very special guest that, um, unfortunately, became a victim. So, let's go see what they got to say. Just like that. Just wait. We're waiting for the, we're waiting for the tunes. Wait for the tunes. And then we're going to do the interview to find out exactly what happened here at Tube Town. Uh, go ahead and get in the vehicle and we sign the guest book and everything. Well, we get out to put it, put it up. Well, it's so the special guest is here and he's already working. I tell you, look, there's Wes, everybody. Let's, let's introduce Wes. Wes, I haven't even met Wes, but if you, you're going to find out all about Wes. And uh, man, pleasure to meet you, brother. Yes, pleasure. Sir. All right, we'll be back with you in just a second. There it is. Wes, you got to bear with me. Sometimes this YouTube stuff's a little bit difficult for me. Hey, so, you. anyway, listen up, everybody. I told you about Wes, our special guest, well, that actually happened to become a victim. We're going to talk to him in a little bit, but um, he has actually volunteered his time, as you see. He's already been here weeding and cleaning up, and so he started over here a little bit, and we're gonna go over here and finish up all the way down the property line. I'm gonna grab my weed eater, and uh, look, he's already sweaty and dirty, and <laughs> and it's time for me to get sweaty and dirty too. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. You guys like the, the weeding and the mowing and medit mowing. Hold on, mowing meditations by Willis. You guys like that stuff, so we're gonna go do some weeding and meditation with Wes. <laughs> Well, I was recording without my recording device. I figured it out. I do got a few clips that I recorded. Hopefully, we'll be able to put those in there. But we're going to walk down here, and we're going to start to um, do some weedy meditation with Wes. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go get my weed eater. He's going to come out. Look, it's nice and quiet right now. That's for sure. Um, I just look at Wes. He's already, man, he's done a good job already. He's in, in the Florida heat, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go get my weed eater. We're gonna we're gonna let you watch some mowing meditation with Wes. Wes, take it away, my man, and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna get my weed eater. Gotcha, buddy. All right. Oh yeah! Time to get some work done, baby. I got him. A man on a mission right there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Now look at that. That's how you get work done right there. Wes is the man. He's done run out of string. Look, look at the, look how, look how nice it looks already. 90% of that's been done by him. I've just been goofing off with the weed eater, making it look fun. I've been doing the weed eater meditations with Wes. It's fun, isn't it? So yeah, we're, we're, we're waiting on the music to, to jam out. We want to do a little dancing. Maybe, maybe me and Wes will have a dance off. Who knows? <laughs> hey, I got water and power aids in my truck in a cooler. Now look at this, man. This is looking so good. It's looking so good. We've got a little bit more right there. I got to finish up. We got a little bit right there. And then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually go all the way down to the other end down there and uh, to the property line and make it all look real nice. Okay, we're going to get into um, everything that happened with Wes uh, yesterday and his family. It's a very unfortunate incident that, um, that we have to deal with and, and how we actually become friends because of the fact of what had happened. We're going we're gonna to get to that here in a little bit. But, you know, there is a... Um, Basically, uh, what they say is a turtle rescue next door. It's a smell thing. And, um, and we can stand here and take a look at it. They advertise it right there. So uh, I don't think it's unfair for people to stand out here and look at the turtle rescue. Do you? I don't. I mean, it, it says it right there. It's a turtle rescue. So we can, we can actually look at it, right? Or is that wrong? Should something bad happen to you if you're looking at the turtle rescue? Ridiculous. The West is restringing. I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'm going to finish up right here. See the, see the pink the pink marker? That is the edge of the property line. And we'll go ahead and uh, get this done. And Man, what a difference, right? We 
tunes just like that. Just wait. We'll wait for we'll wait for the tunes. Wait for the tunes. Bada bing, bada boom, and bada bam. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Wes is back at it again. Mowing meditation with Wes. Go so DJ, play that funky tune. He's still going at it. I'm gonna go there and grab a sweat towel, wipe off all my sweat because it's hot and I'm sweating. I wasn't filming, but you guys, you guys just fell over. Shouldn't have did that. Oh, my tripod broke again. Well, I'm gonna have to go fix it. Yep. You know, this tripod is like my entire YouTube career old. Yeah, man, Wes is Wes is getting it done. He is he's made tube town look a lot better. Everybody say what's up to Wes in the comments. Again, we're gonna get to him and talk to him about uh, what exactly happened there. I think a lot of you already kind of know what has happened, but uh, you're gonna hear it from uh, the victim himself as to uh, what went down over there. Again, that's a rescue, right? So it says it right there. It's a smell thing rescue. We should be able to look over there and see what's going on, right? I mean, if that's what they are. I mean, I don't know. You let me know. We got the outside done. It's all done looking good. We're going to jump inside now. And I tell you, man, Wes is just a working man. He, he reminds me a lot of me. Not the mayor, that's for sure. But anyway, we're going to get in here. We're going to um, get some of this weeded out. Get some of that weeded it out. There goes my hands again. And then we're going to talk to Wes about um, his experience bringing his family here to Tube Town and... Uh, and what all we can do as viewers to uh, to help out and make this uh, that much more of a positive experience. So, Wes, you ready to get back out of my man? Sure, look at he's look he he ain't scared. He is on it. Doesn't stop. I'm telling you. All right, I need to go grab my glasses. And we're still waiting for the DJ so we can do the dance off. I mean, literally, we get the music, we're doing a dance off. Once again, welcome back to Weedy Meditation with Wes. There we go. Oh yeah, baby. We're waiting on the music. Wait, come on, DJ. Come on, DJ. Waiting on the music. Wait, come on, DJ. Come on, DJ. Look at that. Can you imagine once we have all of Tube Town looking green and grassy like that? All in time. It's going to take a little time, but we will get there. I promise you. We will get there. But not today because it's hot. We got a lot more grass to grow. As you can see, we still got many chip hazards I got to get up, but I will get those up over time. Going to do a little bit more right here, but man, it's, it's coming back together. Coming back to life, baby. Man, oh man, looking good over there. The man with the machine. Who is the machine? He just is not stopping. We're going to this side now. We get this side done. And then, whoa, and then we're going to do the interview to find out exactly what happened here at Tube Town. So yeah, it's getting there, it's looking good. Just a little bit more down there in the end, and then uh, the front of Tube Town will be nice, trimmed up and clean, and uh, then we're gonna hear from the victim. You guys know the victim of what, right? Well, you're gonna find out here in just a little bit. What a difference, how, how about that, awesome. Actually, Wes is um, grabbing something over here. He actually brought something for Tube Town. We're gonna check that out here in a minute, but uh, then we're gonna, again, we're gonna talk to him and uh, find out exactly what happened when he brought his family here um, to the planet's favorite place. Yeah, some of the unfortunate incidents that happened. Stay tuned. What you got, Wes? All right, he's, he brought a, uh, oh, I can see it. I see it already, what it is. Look at him, he's getting it set up. That's for everybody who wants to practice their, uh, their golf swing, right? Oh, yeah. 
because you know the one of the obstacles is chipping. We haven't really done that just yet. Actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. Me and Wes are going to play a chipping game here in a little bit after you hear the interview, and then we're going to have some fun. But uh, right now, I guess he's he's trying to get himself warmed up because he has to play the mayor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. You got it? Oh. If you don't hit it right, it don't go right. Hey, you know what? That's funny because you can just act like you're just smacking balls anywhere you want. Ah. Uh, whoa. I busted the window out over. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Now this... I believe is the appropriate practice spot. Go ahead and give, give her a swing. After all that you've been through. Yeah, I'm gonna knock out the window. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what, when the DJ comes out, request a tune. All right, he says it's my turn. Ooh, how's that golf swing, is that good? Uh, I'm not really a golfer, but. I got the camper. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yes. I have another try. Literally, Amazing. none of this. I, I'm, for example, it's not playing. It wasn't. It, it just. Hey, dude. I'm, I'm sorry about your golf club. Hey, but good. um, th th thanks for the golfing thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too it's just too much fun it's just too much fun now again you guys are going to find out exactly what happened here and when we do the interview i've just been leading you up this whole time but you know trying to bring some good times from an experience that uh that was built to meant to be a good time awesome time with the family it will be i'll make it up i promise look you guys are about to fall over but um i tell you what we're gonna cool off for a minute and then we're gonna get right back at you and we're gonna let you know exactly what happened right here at Tube Town and what's going to be going down at Tube Town. Well, you already see what's going down. All kinds of fun, baby. Look, I am your father. All right, check it out. We have now finally decided to take a break, sit down. Tube Town's looking good. I want to say thanks first off, Wes. And then uh, you guys are going to get to meet Wes and uh, we're going to talk to Wes a little bit about what exactly happened. So, Wes, go ahead and introduce yourself, where you're from and all that good stuff. I'm Wes Doctor. I'm from McLeansboro, Illinois. Illinois, okay, so Illinois, let's keep that in mind. Now, you're in Illinois and you have your daughter with you and you guys decide to do what? How, like, absolutely, like, how cool is that? Like, literally drive all the way from Illinois and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the story and, uh, and, and kind of give you an idea as to what happened, but they drove down from Illinois to visit Tube Town, happened to have some friends over in Ocala. They were going to uh, go visit them, but. Wes, you come to Tube Town, right? I'm gonna leave the camera on you and I'm just gonna talk to you over here behind the camera. You come to Tube Town, you guys pull up, start taking pictures, it's raining out. Tell, tell me a little bit about what, what, what down. We pulled up, because I've been telling my, me and my daughter watch the videos. Me and my daughter watch the videos. And I just hold that and then we'll make sure it's good. She sees all the games being played and everything and I told her, I was like, we're gonna be close to that, you wanna go? And she's like, yeah, I wanna go, I wanna go. So she was all excited about it and everything. Now, how old is your daughter? Eight. She's eight years old, yes. her name? Jacelyn. Jacelyn, okay. Yeah. And, uh, well, we made a day of it with uh, my best friend, Patty. We came down, it started raining right before we got here. And I'm like, eh, well, maybe we won't be able to play the games. And she's like, it'll be okay. And I was like, honey, we'll see. Well, when we get here, it was, you know, the gate was locked and everything. And it was raining, so she knew all about the guest book and all that. So all we right. get it out and getting, she found her. A little turtle in there. She found that. She got the tube town turtle. Yeah, yeah, she loves it. Nice. Well, we uh, go ahead and get in the vehicle and we sign the guest book and everything. Well, we get out to put it put it up. Well, it stopped raining, so we're just looking around and she loves tortoises, like turtles and stuff. So she was reading that over there and then she started looking. So we started walking a little bit and uh, she reads the box. She goes, Dad, there's a blessing box. And I was like, yeah, I doubt it's a blessing box, but okay. <laughs> and she goes over there and she lifts it up and she goes, there's nothing in here. I was like, yeah, I know. Come on over here. So I love her. She, <laughs> she, obviously, she has no idea about any of the, no, the turmoil no, 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 no. or the, the, the competition. None at all. Okay. So uh, we come back and we're taking pictures and everything out here. Well, then we get in the vehicle and we go down the end of the road, turn around because we're going to go back this way. So we're going to take one last picture of here and she wanted a picture of the turtle thing there right so we take pictures of everything well then we go to pull off and we hear somebody yell 
And I'm like, what in the world was that? And we had the windows up and, you know, the radio was on. So I stop and roll down the window and I look over and I see, I know the guy, the guy over there. Right. And I know from videos, his name's John. Well, then I see him and I was like, I was like, what'd you yell? And he goes, do whatever you want. I'm like, do whatever I want. I was no like, sense. what? And he goes, you're going to lose anyway. I was like, I turned towards my best friend. I was like, I think he thinks I'm somebody else. Okay. And I was like, man, I was like, we're not even from here. Because he kept yelling. He goes, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. And I'm like, I was like, I don't have nothing to do with anything. I was right. like, I'm from Illinois, and we're just here visiting. And next thing I know, he pulls a gun out of his pocket, and he bends down through the tree at me. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Wow. I got my daughter with me, so I'm freaking out. Like, right. I'm like, gosh. and then my best friend's like, go, go, go. And I'm like, yeah, no, you don't just take off because, you know, then you might start really shooting. So I'll tell him, up. I, I know his name was John from the videos. I was like, hey, John, I was like, put the gun away. I was like, I ain't here to cause no trouble or nothing. I was like, we were just over here taking pictures. And I was like, I was like, this is stupid. I was like, put it away. I was like, I got a kid in here. And then uh, I was like, I'm going to call the cops. That's why I told him. So he puts it back in his pocket, and we take off, and I call 911 immediately. I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, and, and now, so, for example, if everybody notices, you know, I'm not blurring it out, but they advertise that they're a rescue over there. So... In my, in, my, in my opinion, rightfully so, if you advertise as a rescue, people should be able to walk up and down and look. Right. They're, they're, they're going to, you know. The blessing box. Right. What does it say? Right. Take what you need. Right. I mean, that's why my daughter walked over there, and then I was like, hey, come here a minute, you know. Right. Again, her not knowing. But so, there should be no, there should be no, um, in my opinion, there should be no reason for anybody to get angry if they're advertising that and the people are actually looking over there. Because... What if somebody drove down the road and they saw the Tube Town sign at the end of the street that, uh, that's at Tube Town Hall? And then they decide, like, what is that? And they drive down here and they look at Tube Town. Wow, it's crazy. Take some pictures, laugh at it. Look over there, see if there's a tortoise with turtle, 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 yes, you, or how do you say that? Ten times. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtle, yeah, turtle thing. But, uh, and then they start looking over there and taking pictures. Out of simple, genuine curiosity, they're like, well, what, that's a turtle. So, therefore, if they're advertising that, I would think that they should be able to at least be okay with people looking at it. But instead, they get, you get a gun pulled on you. Yes. And All right. I terrified my daughter. I mean, she was crying, and it just, I was completely shocked. All right. It, it messed up our visit. Okay. All right. Well, stand by one second. It's so very cool. It's awesome chatting with the neighbors. Miss Gail's out having an awesome, lovely walk today. And, uh, but yeah, so that that's basically kind of in a nutshell that went down here at Tube Town. So everybody's heard from West the victim himself as to exactly what happened it's it's the truth so whatever people say and think that's going to be what they say and think but Wes did I make you say anything no I got <laughs> no reason why all right so anybody knows I, I do want to apologize for um, any if, if you're if you are uncomfortable scared to come to town please please do not I don't want anybody to feel that way because of the the situation that happened next door but needless to say um, if you guys email me let me know ahead of time. I will definitely make every effort I can to be here so I can meet you guys. We can play a few games, have some fun, and uh, hopefully we won't be disturbed by the neighbors. But Wes, I just want to say thank you, man, for coming out, for being a, a true supporter. Welcome to the family now. We're pretty much, we're calling you family. I can't wait to meet Jason and, uh, and, and, and the best friend, and so Patricia, and so um, it's, it's, it's going to be a good time. But, man, seriously, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, I can't, I did. I, I'm one of those guys, like, if you grab a handshake and it's, like, wrong, like, no, we got we to do it right. You know what I mean? I'm that type of guy. But once again, Wes, much appreciated, bud. One thing that's always cool about Tube Town, we have some more, well, is the cool new obstacle, or, uh, um, well, it's an obstacle now, but the uh, the game. But more more uh, viewers stopped by. It's so awesome. They signed the guest book. They are now officially Tube Town guest book residents. But needless to say, um, we had some fun. We didn't film none of it, but we, here, let me just tell you this. Wes, Wes was a witness. Wes is, Wes is already, he's already like the maintenance man. He's cleaning up, getting everything ready. But uh, all four obstacles here on the table, this two-inch pipe, the cone, the brown bottle, and the green bottle. He nailed every single one of them on his first try of the ring toss. It was, it was, it was awesome. So anyway, I gotta get out of here and uh, we gotta get this video going because today's 4th of July and uh, we love each and every one of you. Wes, go ahead, what you got, buddy? What? You, you're gonna do it? Wes, Wes is going for it. You, well, you just gotta get it on the pipe. See, watch him, oh, going for the green. Ooh, pretty close on that one. I'll tell you what, oh, oh, oh. Does get the leaner. Oh, oh, oh. Touches the brown bottle. Oop. Oh, too much pipe scores. Tell you what, 
A for effort, Wes. Good job. But uh, needless to say, I tell you, our last guest was definitely the champion. He's the champ for sure.